Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for week 3 assignment of blockchain and its applications course. Friends, these are 100% correct answers. Uh, but if you have any doubts, please ask in the comment section. I will try to reply to the valid queries. So let's, uh, before that, uh, please watch the video till the end without skipping. Because if I uh, change any solution in between, uh, you can be able to note those changes. So watch till the end. Let's see the first question. Bitcoin mining is performed by. So the answer for first question is option A, minor nodes. So mark option A. Moving on to the second question. DLT can be used to maintain financial information only. So the answer is, I mean the statement is absolutely false because DLT can be used to maintain beyond financial information. It is given in the lecture. So it means it's not, it is the correct answer. That is option A. Next one, that is third question. Which of the following is or are true for basic POW consensus? There are uh, multiple answers. Actually, all the answers are correct. That means A, B, C and D. So mark these all options. Guys, if you have any doubt for this uh, question, uh, let's discuss this. Uh, actually every every question is correct one every solution is 100% uh, correct if we have any doubt in this uh, let us discuss this third question is only the uh, slight doubtful question but everything is 100% correct I, I hope that third question is also correct so if you have any doubt uh, you can comment moving on to fourth one Bitcoin scripting language so the answer is Actually, we have three answers here. The first one is option A, not Turing complete, and option B, supports cryptography, and third one, stack based. So, mark A, B, and C. <coughs> Moving on to the fifth question Permission blockchain is regarded as more secure than open blockchain as the participants are known be beforehand and pre-authenticated so the uh, this uh, statement is true so mark option A and moving on to the sixth question what is nonce so the answer is option D the number minus run through to generate a correct hash so the answer is Option D. Moving on to the seventh question. Which one of the following opcodes is needed to remove the top stack item? The answer for seventh question is option C. OP underscore drop. So mark option C as correct answer for 7th question. Moving on to the 8th one. Which of these fields is present in a block uh, Bitcoin block summary? So the answer for 8th question is option A difficulty. That is option A. And ninth one. Here comes the calculation part. This first only question. If the 4 byte difficulty bits in hex form are and they are given a hexagonal form and the target value is calculated using x into 2 power y, what are the values of x and y? So here x means the coefficient part and y means 8 into index minus 3 or 8 into exponent minus 3. So there is a uh, some in-depth calculation so when I did this I got the answer as option C. So 
so mark option c as correct answer for ninth question and moving on to the final question of this assessment that is 10th question in bitcoin block header the block identifier is calculated how so it is calculated using double sha256 on the current block header so option d so mark option d so friends these are the solutions for week 3 assessment of blockchain course so hope this video is helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section i'll try to reply for the valid queries so for further more videos and also different type of course solutions please check our nptl playlist in our channel keep supporting us like this so until then Goodbye. Thank you.